It's a very uh, smart uh, peptide that helps to regulate uh, interactions between different lymphocytes, different immune cells, and uh, largely, uh, largely thanks to its effect on T-regulatory cells. And uh, for this reason, this one is, uh, I would say, uh, hypothetically more safe for a number of conditions because it doesn't even uh, hypothetically should not uh, increase autoimmune process, should not increase production of pro-inflammatory cytokines. Mm -hmm. It also has a lot of uh, tissue regenerative and healing effects. Uh, there were also a lot of studies. And interestingly, it also affects pituitary. It uh, simulates production of luteinizing hormone. That I think it's very good because uh, for men and women, activating this HPA, a hyper thalamus pituitary axis is very important because these all good healthy hormones, estrogens in women and uh, testosterone in men also supportive of kidney. They also improve mm -hmm. kidney function, improve regeneration of kidney cells. So thymaline is very interesting. It has a lot of uh, supleotropic effects, affects a lot of tissues in a very positive way. And I would say it's uh, milder. It's um, uh, activating uh, T helpers or cytotoxic T lymphocytes. So even uh, in conditions where it would be dangerous to activate immune system, it's uh, mildly regulates immune system instead of activating it.